Dr. Philip Scherer is here now, the 2015 recipient of the Banting Medal for Scientific Achievement. Congratulations on Thank that. Thank you very much. Talk to me about what that means to you in terms of inspiring research. Well, receiving the Banting Medal is obviously a great honor. It is a reflection of the appreciation that your peers have for your work. So from that perspective, it is a wonderful uh, experience to go through. It is also an honor, of course, to be the recipient up front uh, for a large number of different people in the background whose work has contributed to the large body of uh, research that, that we present at this meeting that we've done over the last uh, two decades or so. It is an endorsement uh, for an entire program actually. We have been uh, very fortunate at the University of Texas Southwestern Medical Center to enjoy a great deal of local support that enabled us to do what we were able to do. And then I believe last but not least, uh, it is an endorsement of the adipocyte, the fat cell, as a critical uh, mediator, uh, core cell type uh, that's at the very center of energy homeostasis, at the very center of obesity, of course, and as a consequence of that, at the very epicenter, basically, of uh, therapeutic interventions for diabetes. And you are giving a lecture on that seminal work, the research on the adipose tissue. There has so long been this connection between weight and diabetes, but you are really delving further into it at a, a cellular level. Yes, indeed. So I think what I'm going to focus on over the course of that lecture is highlight basically the key elements that make the adipocyte fat tissue as a whole uh, so important and relevant to, to physiology and, and diabetes research in general. It is a key cell type whose uh, basic physiology as a tissue we have to understand from the nit nitty gritty vascularization phenotypes, the fibrosis that's associated with with, uh, with the pathophysiological changes. But then I also want to focus on, on a series of unique aspects that we may not fully appreciate. So one aspect of the adipocyte, the fat cell, is certainly its ability to produce and release a lot of discrete protein factors. We could call them hormones, we, we call them adipokines, that have a pretty profound effect on systemic energy homeostasis. And one of our favorite ones that we've been working on for many, many years is, is a protein called adiponectin with many beneficial effects actually on systemic metabolism. Another aspect is the ability of the adipocyte to manipulate systemic lipid homeostasis. Uh, naturally, this includes the standard free fatty acids that we're all used to. But there's also a subcategory of lipids that have actually also signaling abilities, which are the, the, the lipids uh, compromised of the ceramide family. So the ceramides have potent effects on insulin resistance and inflammation. And the manipulation of these lipids, which something that the adipocyte is really good at doing, uh, is one of the key aspects uh, of uh, the, the important role of the adipocyte per se. When you talk about that manipulation, I think that it will help create some therapeutic targets. Absolutely. Uh, there is actually, it's all interconnected. We have adiponectin as one of these adipokines. We have adiponectin receptors that mediate the effects of uh, adiponectin. And downstream of these adiponectin receptors is likely to be a so-called ceramidase activity that effectively lowers the ceramide levels within the system. So that's absolutely correct. And then perhaps a last and more surprising aspect of the adipocyte, uh, which is kind of our most recent and, and even partially unpublished set of observations, is the release of critical uh, metabolites that the adipocytes contribute to the system. It turns out that uridine is one of these that we uh, sort of embrace as a critical mediator uh, of various aspects of physiology. So I'm going to belabor that a little bit more extensively and sort of introduce some of our current ideas and how that could be used potentially for therapeutic interventions at the level of diabetes and or obesity and slash weight loss. Dr. Sher, it sounds like a critical research that ultimately will truly help patients. Thank you so much. My pleasure, thank you.